Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build Laravel RESTful API with JWT authentication. Let's quickly take a look at the things that we'll be able to learn by the end of this tutorial. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to learn how to develop Laravel RESTful API with JWT authentication. You'll be able to learn the solid principle in Laravel, which will help you to build scalable and maintainable projects. You'll be able to learn how to integrate multi-authentication in any of your Laravel projects using JWT. You'll be able to learn roles and permissions in Laravel using Laravel policy. We admin will be able to assign roles and permissions to any of the users on the platform. We are going to learn all this and more on this tutorial, so stick around, don't go anywhere. Let's build this together. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, share the video and also turn on the notification bell icon to get notified anytime I post a new video on this channel. To get started, we are going to start by creating a fresh Laravel project but before we do that, you have to make sure that you have PHP and Composer running on your system. To check if PHP is running on your system, you have to type this command with me, php-v on your terminal. So on my system, I have PHP 8.2.1.8 running on my system. So if you don't have PHP installed on your system, it's going to throw an error. So also check if Composer is installed on your system. You have to type this command with me, Composer-V, which will also show you the current version that is running on your system. So on my system, I have version 2.5.8. So if you don't have Composer installed on your system, it's also going to throw an error for you. So on this project, we're going to be installing the Laravel version 10. And if you don't have PHP version 8.1 and above, you will not be able to install the Laravel version 10. So to follow along on this tutorial, I would advise that you make sure that your PHP version is up to 8.1 and above. So to create a fresh Laravel project, let's head over to the Laravel official website. And then when you land to the official website, let's click on documentation. On the documentation, you're going to see the command that you're going to use to create a fresh Laravel project. So this is the command here. So let's copy it. Go to our terminal again, paste it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's the composer create projects, Laravel slash Laravel, the, the name of the project that we're creating. So I'm going to name, name our project Laravel dash API dash JWC. Then you hit enter. Then you wait for the project to create. Okay, the project has been created successfully. So the next we're going to see the inside the project. Then next we're going to open the project in our code editor. And this time we are going to use VS Code as our code editor. And this is our Laravel project. So next we're going to set up our database credentials and the credentials are found inside the .env file. So this is the .env file, let's open it and uh, I'm going to put in my database name which I already created which is Laravel API dash underscore JWT. Then I also put in my database password. I already have the database name to be root and that's it. Next, we're going to install the JWT auth. So to install the Laravel JWT auth, we're going to head over to the official documentation. I'm going to drop the link to this documentation on the description of this video. So as you can see, here is the command that you can use to install the JWT auth. So let's copy this, head over to our VS Code. Let's open up the VS Code terminal new terminal then let's paste the command there and hit enter then wait for it to install okay it has finished installing let's go over to the next step which is to add a service provider which is for people who are using Laravel version 5.4 below so on this tutorial we are using Laravel version 10 so we don't need to add this so next we are going to publish the config file so let's copy this and head over to our terminal and paste it there then hit okay the config file has been published so we are going to see the config file inside the config folder which is jwt okay on the config file is where all the configuration settings have been made so if you have any custom tweak or any changes that you have to make on the package we can do it on the config file 
So let's go back to the documentation. Next, we are going to generate this. We are going to generate the secret key, which will be used to sign all the tokens that will be created on this project. So to generate gen to generate the secret key, let's copy this command. Go back to our terminal and paste it. Hit enter. The secret key has been generated. After generating the JWT secret key, you'll be able to see it inside your environment file. So this is the JWT secret key alongside with the hash algorithm. Okay, next we're going to add the JWT custom claims and the JWT identifier method inside the user model and also make sure that the user model implements the JWT subject. So let's head over to the JWT official documentation to get those two methods. So let's click on next. Let's go down, click on next again. Okay, here we will be able to see those two methods. So let's quickly copy it. And let's go to our code editor. So to get our, to open our model, we have to open the app folder. Open the model folder. We will also see the user model there. Then inside the user model, let's paste it here. Okay, these are the two methods that we need. Next, uh, we are going to make sure that uh, our user model implements the JWT subject. So let's copy this. Or let's just type it. Implements JWT subject. And also make sure that it's been imported here. I think that's all we need on this user model. Let's close it. Next, we are going to make few changes to the auth config file to tell Arabic to make use of the JWT auth guide to power up our application authentication. To make the changes, let's open up our auth config file, which will be found inside the config folder and you see the auth.php. Inside it, we'll be able to, by default, Laravel is using the web guide as the default guide so for us to use the jwt guide we have to define our own api guide here which we use uh, jwt driver so the driver is going to be jwt and the provider is going to be it's going to be users So this is our own guide. So let's change the default guide to make use of the API guide and save it. And that's all we need here. But let's close this back. Okay, we are done with the JWT setup. Also, we are going to stop here for this video. So on the next video, we will start creating our auth controller and our register and the login method. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe and also turn on the notification bell icon to get notified anytime I post any videos on my channel. See you in the next video.